Welcome to part 11 of my Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last video we went around rescuing the gorillas from the Heartless and now we are going to go look for him. Whoa! Looks like we'd better go over that way. Let's see now. Okay, here I'm going to fight the leopard again, only this time it's a proper mini boss. He's uh, actually a, a fair bit harder in, at this time. Not much, but he's got a bit more health than some new attacks. And this is the last time I'm going to have to fight him, so here we go. Yeah, it's interesting how they decided to make this uh, guy such a common boss in this world since as far as I can remember his uh, appearance in the Tarzan film was fairly short. Still a significant one since he was showing Tarzan's coming of age or something like that but... Either way, he's uh, pretty uh, persistent in this world. <laughs> uh, how am I going to get out of this one? Best let uh, Tarzan and Donald take care of him while I... Uh-oh, uh now I'm in deep, big, deep trouble. Ooh, thanks Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan can heal characters here. That makes him a very useful partner. And he's down. Yep, he's finished. Hmm, yep. His, uh, one of his teeth is apparently an accessory for us to use. And I'm not quite sure what it does, but I'll find out. Okay, something going on here. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> Turk runs into Jane. And it's pretty clear that things aren't going well at all. <laughs> yeah, check out that for expression. She is seriously worried. <laughs> so yeah, it would seem like I need to continue going in that direction, but if I go that way, nothing happens. So I've actually got to go back this way, and in what I consider to be possibly a, just a random part that decided to add in to expand the world a bit, I have to go up to the climbing trees again back along the... but back up the vines. Let's see... White Fang raises strength, defense and max ability points. Okay. Now I'm gonna go this way this time. Up those vines. Yeah, this area can be a bit confusing. Here we are in the climbing trees. And yeah, apparently they've got vines covering them now. And we need to take out this big black fruit. Now this is something interesting. Because I, uh, um, when I was younger, I used to play the, the Tarzan game for PlayStation. And in that game, Tarzan used fruits to attack enemies. And this may just be a coincidence, but one of the fruits you could use were very much like that big black fruit. So I kind of wonder if this is a kind of uh, cameo appearance from something that was, uh, existed in the Tarzan game, but not in the film. Uh, I can't really see what other position that fruit has in the ge uh, has in this area. So yeah, apparently Clayton must have uh, I don't know knocked her out and dragged her here. Anyway, after that's done with, it's finally almost time to face Clayton. 
However, I'm not quite ready to face him yet. Because, let's just say, he is a, a, an impressively tough boss. And... <laughs> at this point, I'm just plain not ready at all <laughs> for uh, facing him. So, what I'm going to do now is... Use this save, save spot here to go back to the gummy ship and we're going to go to the next Disney World leaving Deep Jungle to be finished later. So yeah, another gummy ship path. <sighs> so yeah, same old, same old. Those rings rotate, but they're timed so that you can more or less just pass through them. If you stay in the middle. Um, yeah, I might, I might as well talk about what's going on here. Um, when I destroy ships and the kind of pale crystals come out, those are gummy pieces. If I destroy those big boulders and stars come out, those are special parts. And if I destroy a ship and a circular item comes out, that's actually the blueprints that will help me build that particular type of ship uh, later on in the game. And finally, these uh, rocks will sometimes drop bright green crystals, which uh, are armor, which will help me protect my gummy ship. Sometimes I like to uh, press the shoot button to in time to the music. But not when there's hearts around. Yeah, I can't help feeling that when they were making this game, they sort of tacked these parts on. Oh well. Just destroy these blue boulders. Oh yeah, the balls that the boulders drop are power, which are used for weapons which I don't have at the moment. Here we are. Welcome to Olympus Coliseum. In case it isn't obvious, this place is based on the Disney film Hercules, which is interesting because I've already made, made a video game walkthrough of the original PlayStation game for Hercules. This is the Kingdom Hearts World version. It's the smallest world in the game, but you can do more here than in just about any other world, so... Okay, I just need to go over here, enter the door... And look who it is! Old Philoctetes! Um... Good timing! Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me? I gotta spruce this place up for the games. So yeah, he needs he wants us to push this thing, but it's far too heavy for us. So we go back and talk to him again. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games, so run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You can't 
a large standing wagon front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> I fought a bunch of monsters. <laughs> hey, if you can't even move this, you can't cause yourself. The hero! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. Okay, now we're going to enter Phil's training. This is, to be honest, a really, really annoying part of the game. <laughs> it's, uh... Basically, I need to break 20 of these jars, uh, vase, barrel things in 30 seconds. And if I try to, to destroy each of them individually, I won't have time to do it. So, in actual fact, right here, I'm at, I've put myself at a disadvantage because I've got the combo plus ability enabled. And basically, that means I have to put to, to attack four times in order to use the finishing blow, which will destroy barrels instead of uh, the usual three. Now, <laughs> I, I just accidentally restarted. Sorry about that. <laughs> I might be able to do this if I'm lucky, but it's doubtable. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if I hang around here for a long time. It's not that I'm a bad player, it's just that this part is really annoying. It, yeah, if I jump, I, I uh, can still do the three hit combo, which lets me destroy barrels a lot quicker. But still not quick enough. <laughs> yeah, I give up. Because I'm going to turn off uh, <coughs> combo plus. Abilities, Sora, Combo Plus, Remove. Now talk to him again, and this time it should be a lot easier. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, I see this. Oops. Much easier now. It might also take help, help if I took off uh, Vortex. Okay, ten more seconds to destroy the remaining barrels. Can I do it? No. Oh! Looks like I'm going to have to try again. Here I go again. Come on. Oh, such pain. Okay. Can do this. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, uh, fire is also very good for breaking in the barrels. Okay, here we go again, and this time it is much harder. 25 barrels to destroy, one minute to do it in. And the trouble is, um, the barrels are very widely spread apart this time. It's very easy to miss some, and they aren't uh, put placed so easily together. So sometimes I need to try and bash some barrels into other barrels, and, well. Anyway, it's coming up to the end of the video, so I'll see you all in part 12. See you then.